Yeah. In here? What you doing in that bed, boy? Richard! What you doing in bed with that woman? I'm his wife. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey. Today we're going to be reacting to the movie Loving. Loving, yes. Um, happy, happy Loving, Loving Day. Day! We thought we'd react to the movie Loving. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's about the court case Loving vs. Virginia um, that set a precedence for mixed race couples in the U.S. Yes. Uh, back in the 60s, I believe. Uh, in the 50s? The story kind of begins in the late 50s, but yes. the case happened in the 60s. That's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we, we decided to be, since today is Loving Day, mm -hmm. um, that it would be a good time to commemorate that by yeah. reacting to this movie. That's right. So let's head on over to the first scene. I bought it. This whole acre. I'm gonna build you a house. Right here. Our house. Oh. Nailed it. Yes. Would you marry me? Boy, if you knew what you were asking. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about that? Um, it was emotional. Yeah. Um, it makes you kind of wonder what's going through her mind when she's hearing him. Mm. Like, for me, I wondered if she thought, you know, this this is becoming more like a real, like, family, a mm -hmm. real relationship mm -hmm. that, like, validates kind of what they have between yeah. the two of them. Yeah. Where it's like, we're not just fooling around. We're not just best friends that are right. hooking up or, like we're actually gonna be a family with a home and a property and yeah. Yeah, yeah I love that he 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 said, I'm gonna build you a house. Like, yeah. and I'm gonna build us a house. <laughs> that, house, I don't know, yeah, yeah our house. And, yeah. and then proceeds to ask her to marry him. Like, yeah. I just thought that was so awesome. And mm -hmm. so like, you know, this mean, this relationship means a lot to me, not mm -hmm. just, like you said, oh, she's my, you know, peace on the side or whatever. Yeah, well, no, this is gonna be my wife. So yeah. I thought that was a big deal. Uh, yeah, and I don't, I don't think she was ever on the side. I think it was always just the two of them. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like in situations like this, there could be temptation to hide. Right, especially in a situation. Right, like to yeah. he could have just been nervous and right. hit her and right. did things to, you know, on the, side but yeah. he made sure he yeah it was a yeah. courageous move. Yeah, yeah that's exactly sure. what i'm trying to say yeah and it, like while it's sweet and cool that he's doing that i yeah. wonder if they're also just realizing like how hard it could be it could you be. know that yeah. there's this whole other side of the story where they're living in a place that hates their union yeah you know? yeah so. yeah like when i said we always said when we met each other initially we were okay and would notice that, oh, we're a mixed race couple only when we would get stares. Yeah. But the more we've been together, it's been less about the stares we get. And it's, I've seen you just more like, oh, that's Jory, he's my husband. Yeah. Like it we doesn't. Don't, we don't really think about the dwell fact on that us. We're, yeah. yeah. A mixed yeah. race couple, just right. that we're a couple. And then every now and then you're reminded. Yeah. <laughs> but can you imagine them in, back in that those days? Right. Like, oh, my How word. Hard like, Ooh wee! Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next scene. In here! What you doing in that bed, boy? Richard! What you doing in bed with that woman? I'm his wife. That's no good here. Put your pants on, boy. Get out of that bed. Get out of that bed. Come on. Wow. 
wish you would come in my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, first of all, can you imagine being woken up like by that like breaking in your door? Into your what goes oh, through my. your mind? Oh, I probably think I'm about to die. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to get shot. The trauma <laughs> these people had to have gone through is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And the fact that the mayor certificate wasn't enough. I'm saying if they couldn't get it in Virginia, they could get it in DC, right? Mm-hmm. But they probably thought that would suffice right. because it's not available in Virginia, but it right. is in DC. So let's go get married and then come back. Yeah, I don't know what their thought was, but it was definitely like just feels like a total invasion of privacy for sure. Yeah, and it's like talking to adults as if they're children yeah. like put on your pants boy yeah in the bedroom like they yeah. have full control of them somehow. yeah it just doesn't seem right it doesn't like, like i said go ahead and try that <laughs> try that now sorry <laughs> <laughs> what you doing in bed with that woman right i'm his wife what you think right. this is like what yeah. the nerves i would i would have loved to hear like what went through their mind mm-hmm. like you know I know she passed away in two, sometime in 2008, but it's so sad. Like a place where you're supposed to just be, feel safe and at home, you're treated like a criminal. That is weird. It makes me angry. It does? <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, just the injustice of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm glad we serve a God that's not like that. Right. Like he wants us to choose life in all situations. But he gives us choice. Right. It just makes me wonder, like, the police officers. And I know it's just a movie, but... It pe- happened. People actually acted that way. Yeah. Like, when you're, like, telling this woman to get out of the bed and get yeah. out of the house, like, do you, are you believing in your mind that that is less of a human? Right. Like, because she's darker? Is he... Is he believing she is closer to animal mm-hmm. because she's darker and mm-hmm. so he can talk to her that way? Well, some some you know what I mean? some people do believe that, yeah. unfortunately. I, I know, and I, like it's it's hard yeah. to imagine that someone can like view another human that way. That way, know? less than Yeah. Yeah. That's that was heavy. One, that's a hard one to react to, you know. Yeah. It's not like it's not like the last one we did. <laughs> yeah. Next thing. All right. I met with a judge this morning and I worked out a deal I think is pretty fair. Judge Brazil is a friend, but he is not a fan of your particular situation. If you all plead guilty, the judge is willing to suspend any prison time. Just, I just have to say this. Um, that's crazy that their union is deemed a felony. A felony. Yeah. That is insanity. Yeah. They had nothing better else to do <laughs> because perfectly functioning human being, you know, adding value to society can be deemed, just by their way of living is deemed a felony. It's just so, I, I mean, I can't really comprehend it. Right. It's weird. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's a, I, we could go real deep on this, on the subject, mm-hmm. you know, in terms of what should the government control and what is right. sin. Right. Because there are things I definitely consider sin. Absolutely. Um, but I don't think it's my business to punish it by law. No, that's what I'm saying. We create we create a God that is. Well, I mean, we not created. Sir. We worship a God that get, has given us choice. Yeah. And ultimately, anyone who sins answers to Him. Right. Not to the state. And you can only make rules for so long, but things need to be a heart. You know, certain things are a heart issue. I mean, yeah. you can't put laws. Right. Over. <laughs> Something like this is just so obviously uh, not a problem. Yeah, it's, you know? it's, yeah. We'll do it. Now, in exchange for suspending the jail time, you and your wife, unless you decide to dissolve the marriage, will be forced to leave the state. Leave the state? What does that mean? It's exactly what it sounds like. You two are not allowed to be in the state at the same time and certainly aren't allowed to be here together. For how long? How long will that last? 25 years. It is a lot. (laughs) 
That can't be right. Look, you got a year in state penitentiary, which I remind you could have been up to five years at the maximum. You got a year in prison on one hand and leaving the state on the other. That's an easy choice. Yeah. Says the white guy. The said Richard Perry Loving being a white person and the said Mildred Dolores Jeter being a colored person did unlawfully and feloniously go out of the state of Virginia for the purpose of being married in the District of Columbia on June 2nd, 1958, and afterwards returned to and resided in the County of Caroline, State of Virginia, cohabitating as man and wife against the peace and dignity of the Commonwealth. How do you plead? Guilty. Guilty. The court does accept the plea of guilty and fix the punishment of both accused at one year in jail upon the provision that both the accused leave Caroline County in the state of Virginia at once and do not return together at the same time to said county and state for the period of 25 years. That was a lot. Yeah. All like packed into one scene. Um, I think just a feeling of helplessness in this system that's like created by these powerful white men and run by them, mm -hmm. you know, and like mm -hmm. they can make up whatever rules they want mm -hmm. <laughs> and people just submit to it, you know, how, how were they a danger to the common somehow it was believed that that was wrong. But I'm, what I'm saying is, them, those two people, as you know, as a couple, how how dangerous really are they? Like, who are they gonna hurt? Right. What are they so afraid of to allow this marriage to take place? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. They, whoever, mm -hmm. doesn't like black people. That's all there is to it. Guys, comment down below. Well, like, what are your thoughts <sighs> about that specific scene? I know this is heavy, but. Yeah. Today is Loving Day, and like, there's no way we could have gone without covering this topic. Yeah, I'm glad we don't have to go through what they went through. Right? But man, that's hard. I think it's just sad. This, I feel like their lawyer just kind of sat there and. Yeah, he had really... no interest in helping them. No. He and the judge just decided what they wanted to do, and then made it. He tried to make it sound like it was a good deal for them. Yeah. No, there was. He was not helping them at all. That's... No. Clear. Yeah. It makes me sick though. Um, yeah, it's it's sad to watch. Like I said, I can't watch movies like these like this all the time. Right. Cause I would have an attitude. Everywhere right. I go, I will have an attitude. Yeah. Be ready to go to war with everyone. Everybody and their <laughs> mama. Yeah. There are people that were around during that time. Did they speak up? for their friend going through right. this? Did family members stand up and say something? Or was it something they had to face on their own? Probably on their own. If the, it's sad. If even the law was against it, yeah. no white person is gonna stick their neck out for that, you know? Well, that's not true, I mean, some boy. Some may be dead. And yeah, the good ones probably did. Yeah. So. But it would have been hard. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad we're here. Yes. Yep, we're reaping the benefits of that hard work for yeah, sure. Yeah. At least macro, like you said. <laughs> you can't you can't fix every person. No. That's the problem. It's both systemic mm -hmm. and personal. Personal. That's that's the, just the truth about racism. Yeah. There are pockets where it's actually systemic, and there are, and even broader situations mm -hmm. where it's systemic, and there are places where each person might be racist. Right. And. Uh, to think that it's one or the other isn't totally true. Yeah. I don't think anyway. I think it's both. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're here. Yeah. We're gonna be what 14 years in July? Yeah. Something in July. So yeah, happy anniversary time. <laughs> yeah, soon, yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't seen where we reacted to the movie Something New, go check that out. Yes. And keep, keep looking, looking up. up.